I think in the eighth grade, there are multiple ways to solve problems. And just because I see it one way, doesn't mean my students are going to see it that way as well. They've, there have been multiple times this year where when someone's sharing another way, I, I'm like, uh, of course you could think about it like that. I myself have never thought about it like that. And that gives that light bulb moment to another student. There's so many ways to attack a problem and I, and I really hope that students can get that from my class is that there's not just one way of solving a problem. They can look at it from many different angles. They can use different tools that they have know or can apply to the situation in order to find it. Definitely by sharing, my, my class is set up in pods and I encourage the students not only to work independently for a certain amount of time, but then also talk to their partners. How did your partner solve it? How do they know they're right? If you guys got different answers, how can you determine who's right or who's wrong? It's a lot of group sharing, a lot of sharing out, and then I also kind of keep track of who has said what and if there's something amazing that was happened, you know, even for me a light bulb moment, I definitely want to make sure that I call on them and compare their the way they solved it to the way somebody else solved it. <laughs> sometimes it's on the fly, but sometimes you can predict, okay, I know that this is going to be the number. As you're going through and planning the problems, you know the type of solutions. This is a number of ways students could solve it. So in your planning, you know already there's probably going to be a few different ways to solve this one where a different problem like we're doing systems right now. Sometimes it should just be substitution. Other times it could be elimination and you know given the problem what it's going to be like. So making sure that when you're planning that you're mindful of that.